guys and welcome back to my oh my god he scared me hi <laughs> welcome back to my channel so today's video as you guys can see by the title we are actually going to a wedding and so we are going to be really close to my favorite store so i thought of course if i'm going to be near it we've got to stop and at least look at the animals hoping that they have some birds we can hold but we'll see so we are going to just walk around take a look see what all new things they have there if they have any new animals or anything if you guys enjoyed this video feel free to subscribe to my channel it really helps me out we have a really busy day today so it should be a fun vlog i will see you guys there Oh, you so cute. <laughs> We're at Family Leisure because we got to get a pump for our pool that we bought from here a couple years ago. We accidentally left the pump outside during the winter and it basically broke because it was plastic. So we got to buy a whole nother pump and filter system. But I love looking at the pools. They always have this one on display and it's huge. Look how huge. It's so beautiful. Oh, I love this so much. I really want one of those for the middle of our pool. Our pool is this size, so. Yum. So we're here at the pet store. There's that big thing. That's my filter to my pool in the back. There's my sister. Hi. That is a gorgeous bird. So beautiful. The house, I'm gonna get my own dog. You should. And I'm gonna get a trampoline. <laughs> a trampoline and a dog. <laughs> I love this part of the store because their fish are always taken care of so well. Look how beautiful. Isn't it so pretty? Look at their little bitty shrimp, you see? <laughs> a skink. Oh my gosh, they have a skink. He's for grown. I like him, but I 
I don't like Oh my goodness, this is so cute. This is new. They didn't have this last time. They have Fiddler crabs. Wow. They are so cute. Look at them. Okay, so we just left the pet store. We just got out of there. Um, I didn't have as much fun this time as I normally do, so I feel like talking about it, and Katie had some opinions too. So normally whenever we go to this pet store, it's always been my favorite pet store. You guys know that. I love it. I love seeing the animals. I love seeing the birds. You know, they always have a really good setup there. All the animals are always taken care of. Everything always looks really sharp. I don't know if it's the day that we're there because we're here on a weekend or, or what the deal is, but they actually had two animals there that I personally do not agree with being in cages, and I don't agree that they should be pets or at pet stores as pets. So they basically had a Cotamundi, which I'll put a picture on the screen um, if you guys don't know what that is. And he was in a huge macaw cage, which I mean, yes, macaw cages are massive, but this animal is... I don't even know how to describe it, but you can basically say that it's like a step below a primate, essentially. You know, I mean, no, it's not a primate, it's not a monkey, but I don't really know how else to describe a Cotamundi, but it just, you can just tell that it's an animal from South America. It's not native to, you know, our, obviously our state or our country, and it's not something that you would ever see outside of like, the native lands where it's from so it was really upsetting to see one of those in a cage and he was pacing back and forth and it just made me really uncomfortable so of course what do i do i said something now i didn't get this on film obviously because i wanted to obviously have respect for the worker but i did say something um i asked them about it i said you know where did it come where that animal come from i've never seen it here before like what's the deal and they basically just the the lady i guess she must have been the manager i don't know but she obviously got it kind of got on the offensive which i mean i understand i'm questioning you know the cruelty of them keeping an animal that is native to South America in a cage um, and it's pacing back and forth and it's really uncomfortable to see you know it's not something that I agree with or anything like that um, and the lady was like well he has arthritis and you know I asked if they take him out ever and she said that they walk him once a week like as if that's okay which it's not okay and I was like I said you know well it's just really sad to see him pacing like that you know it's sad to see an animal from South America in a macaw cage um, pacing when you know he should be in a much larger enclosure you know with a lot more stimulation and things like that it was just really hard to see because I love this pet store and I always visit it I never buy anything just because I tried so hard not to support pet stores even the ones that I feel like like this one that do take good care of their animals they still sell puppies there I don't agree with that while they do have huge enclosures typically for all their animals and they never like overstock their enclosures and stuff those things I appreciate so I visit it you know and I obviously show you guys but to see two exotic animals like that you know pacing in cages and the lady you know obviously I mean I'm, it may not be her decision but it was really just hard to see and I know I'm kind of like like rambling on but I just wanted to be honest because it bothered me and I couldn't just be like okay guys hope you enjoyed the video when I'm really not in a good mood like I'm not I didn't leave there in a good mood and this is reality so like I'm just talking about it but Katie what do you think not okay not okay it was not cool i feel very sad 
Yeah, it was sad to see. Like, I just feel like if there's an animal that, I don't know if it was wild caught or captive bred, I can't speculate. There was no sign or anything like that. It just had a sign that said, please do not touch, um, and that it was a pet store pet, meaning it's an animal that they keep at the store and um, it lives there basically like full time. Obviously the lady, you know, was defensive towards me, you know, not rude or anything, just very like, well, he's fine. We take him out once a week. He just wants his treats. That's why he's pacing. But I feel like that's not good enough. And it's sad that, you know, not only is he alone, he's not in a cage, you know, that's big enough for him. And I don't even think they deserve to be in a cage. I feel like they should have like a whole room dedicated to them. You know what I mean? If that's what you're going to do, like if you're going to have one of those, then they need a room like the size of the one the cats are in or something. I don't know. It was just really frustrating, but I just wanted to talk to you guys about it and just tell you that we left the pet store um i didn't purchase anything because obviously i'm not supporting that and i've never buy anything from there ever i never have i just enjoy going there because i do feel like their enclosures are way better than most pet stores that i've seen that's pretty much it i guess those are my thoughts gosh look how precious oh my god hi baby Hello! Oh, I love you so much. Hi! Oh, he's so pretty. The blue eyes over there. Look at beautiful. Hi! I love you. Oh my god. You're a mess, aren't you? Hi, baby. Oh, I love you so much. Hi. Look at your little nose. Oh, I love them so much. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in my next video. If you do not already follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, I'll put that on the screen for you. I'll see you guys next time. Be kind. Bye.